Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step introduction to the visualization of regular scalar fields as 3D image data. In particular, the following visualization techniques will be discussed. Orthogonal slices and arbitrary slices, ISO surface, volume rendering. This tutorial does not cover the visualization of other types of data, such as vector fields, tensor fields, graphs, surfaces, or tetrahedral meshes, which are described in other tutorials or in the user's guide. Orthogonal slices. We start here by loading a part of a CT scan of a chocolate bar. Please browse the folder data slash tutorials and load the file chocolatebar.am. The fastest, and in many cases most standard way of visualizing 3D image data is by extracting orthogonal slices from the 3D dataset. Aviso allows you to display multiple slices in different orientations simultaneously within a single viewer. Connect a bounding box module to the data. Use right mouse on chocolatebar.am. Connect an also slice module to the data. Connect a second and third also slice module to the data. Select also slice 2 and press XZ in the orientation port. Similarly, for also slice 3, choose YZ orientation. Rotate the object in the viewer to a more general position. Change the slice numbers of the three also slice modules in the respective ports or directly in the viewer. In addition to the ortho slice module, which allows you to extract slices orthogonal to the coordinate axis, Aviso also provides a module for slicing in arbitrary orientations. This more general module is called Slice. You might want to try it by selecting it from the display submenu of the chocolate bar data pop-up menu. The values of the color map port of the ortho slice module determine which color values are mapped to black or white, respectively. If you choose a range of, for example, 30 to 100, any value smaller or equal to 30 will become black, and all pixels with an associated value of more than 100 will become white. Try modifying the range. Please note that modifying the color map branch is only modifying the way the data is displayed on the screen. It does not affect in any way the content of the data itself. Displaying an ISO surface. For 3D image datasets, ISO surfaces are useful for providing an impression of the 3D shape of an object. An ISO surface encloses all parts of a volume that are brighter than some user-defined threshold. Turn off the viewer toggle of the ortho slice modules. Connect an ISO surface module to the data record and select it. Adjust the threshold to 450 or a similar value. Press the Apply button. Since computing the ISO surface may require some time, you may use the option Downsample to obtain a faster preview and thus test different thresholds. If you downsample enough such that the computation is very fast, you may use the Auto Refresh button to interactively search for an optimal threshold. When you have found it, you may then disable the downsampling option to compute the full resolution ISO surface. Volume rendering. Remove all objects in the project view other than the chocolatebar.am data record. Volume rendering is a visualization technique that gives a 3D impression of the whole dataset without segmentation. The underlying model is based on the emission and absorption of light that pertains to every voxel of the view volume. The algorithm simulates the casting of light rays through the volume from preset sources. It determines how much light reaches each voxel on the ray and is emitted or absorbed by the voxel. 
Then it computes what can be seen from the current viewing point as implied by the current placement of the volume relative to the viewing plane, simulating the casting of sight rays through the volume from the viewing point. Select the data icon and read off the range of the data values printed in the data info line. Connect the volume rendering module to the data. Load the chocolate color map located in the data slash color maps folder named volrenchocolate.am. Change the color map of the volume rendering module. To do so, in the color map port, click on edit and select volrenchocolate.am. If you don't have loaded the color map, you can still select it by clicking on Edit, Options, Load Color Map. Set the range of the color map port of the volume rendering to 410, 1910. Select the volume rendering settings and change the lighting to None. By default, Emission Absorption Volume Rendering is shown. The amount of light being emitted and absorbed by a voxel is taken from the color and alpha values of the color map connected to the volume rendering module. In our example, the color map is less opaque for smaller values. You may try to set the lower bound of the color map to zero or 900 in order to get a better feeling of the influence of the transfer function. It is sometimes interesting to visualize only subvolumes from the data. This is made possible by right-clicking on the Volume Rendering Settings module and creating a Region of Interest box from Volume Rendering module. The box can be modified interactively and used, for example, to display only the part of the image that is inside or outside of it. There are many advanced settings available to configure the rendering, which are available from the Volume Rendering Settings module after switching on the Advanced mode. For example, set lighting to specular. Please refer to the user's guide for more details on these parameters. As a summary, in this tutorial, you should have learned the basics of displaying orthogonal slices, ISO surfaces, and volume rendering. Goodbye, and thank you for viewing this tutorial.